Hi there, so um, today I'm going to show you how to install the WordPress theme for the iPhone to do app. So this is a sample WordPress theme that you can use to promote your apps. So here on the home page we have like a title, a subtitle, some information with some images down here, the price and um, a slider with your app information. Alright, so um, on this app we're going to actually going to do this well, actually, we're going to create more pages. So we have a features page where you can see a list of features down here. And then a contact page where you're going to have a contact information where people can contact you. All right, so let's get into the, to this. So what I have here is like a basic WordPress install. This is what you get when you install WordPress for the first time, like a, um, I don't know, vanilla install. Um, I'm not going to show you how to install WordPress, but almost every hosting provider has like a one-click install. All right, so if you go to the admin dashboard and log in, so I'm going to log in here. And what you're going to have is um, a list of links on the right hand side here. So the first thing we want to do is to use is to upload the theme directly. So if you go to appearance and click on themes, then click on install themes at the top here. So then we're going to upload the file that we just wanted like I mean the file that you see in your all right so there's a zip file in the downloads that you that you get so if you go into that zip file um, it's called iPhone to do apps that's basically the theme if you upload that and click on install now then it's gonna install the theme and then you can directly activate it so that's the activated theme there so that's the first step. Second step is um, to start creating the pages, but to make your life easier, I've, I have like a an export of the sample theme here, so which will make the creation of pages easier. It's easier when you can change stuff and not have to create them from scratch, right? So if I go to um, Tools at the bottom here and I click on Import, and then click on WordPress, and then now, okay, first of all, but with a basic theme, you don't have the importer installed, so let's install that. WordPress is actually very nice to use because I mean everything is actually on on there and waiting for you to use. So now we've installed that plugin. So now we have the import WordPress. Now we need to select the XML file and this is also going to be in your downloads. So if I click on browse and I click on this import to WordPress XML, that's also going to be in the download you get. And then click upload file and import. So this is going to import the pages and the custom um, the custom post types which you will need for that theme. So when you get to this page, um, it's going to assign authors. So there are some authors that it's going to try to import. Um, the best thing is to um, assign those posts to an existing user. So basically, that's probably going to be you as an admin. So I have an ex I, I have only one existing user, and it's called Tope. <laughs> so I'm going to assign Tope's post to Tope, and then assign admin's posts to Tope as well. You can choose any user that you have. And then please tick this box for so download and import attachments. It's going to download the um, the the images and then put them on your server. So that's easier to have on, on your server as well. And then we click on submit and we're done. So what you're going to find out here is we're going to have here pages. We're going to have some sample pages there. We have some sample features already. So before you start, the first thing to do is to, well, let's see what we have already. Let's see what we have on the site. So if you open that on a new tab, so this is the link to the to the website. So we see that it's not really um, customized. We've seen some stuff already. It's uploaded, but not customized. So the first thing is to go to the pages tab, pages tab. And then, um, well, let's do the, this um, navigation bar first, navigation items. So if you go to appearance and then menus, we already see that two menus have been created for us. So this is how to create WordPress menu. So we have a footer menu and a top menu. Well, the best thing to do is now then to, we need to assign them to theme locations. So our primary navigation will assign to the top menu and the footer will assign to the footer menu and click on save. And then if I re reload this, hopefully I should have my menus there. So, and then we also have uh, menus here in the footer as well. 
so if you wanted to add more pages so basically what you would need to do is like let's say you wanted to add uh, your contact page to the footer right so I click add to menu and this is it in the footer menu I'm gonna have a contact page click on save menu and if I reload that you're gonna see the contact page same thing with this too right so if I wanted to add one more or remove from there so I'll go to top menu here and then let's add uh, the sample page which is kind of kind of useless but then we'll have it in there and then click on save and if I refresh this screen you should have the sample page and that keeps the width the same as well so that that works fine so let's remove that and then save it so we have the menu um, the thing we also need to do is to make sure that we um, select the home page right so if you go to tools no sorry settings reading and then we want to show this um, item that says front page displays the latest post that's why you see all this here right but then we want to display the home page that's the home page and then we click on save changes so if I refresh that wow everything's almost changed already so now how do we customize this home page so now let's go back to pages here and then click on home so this is the home page already this is this actually came in as part of your import right so that's why you see all those um, files there so the thing is um, if you want to change anything you can easily change the text in here and then this would change so for example if I had something um, here I say contact iPhone contact app that's for the title click on update and I run that so you can see that we have an iPhone contacts app so um, I'm gonna show you an easier way to create that home page for now but for now let's just leave it as it is so what else do we need to customize so um, another thing we need to customize is the features page if you click on features and you scroll down you see that we already have features down here so now let's try adding a new feature so that you know how this works so if you go to the features tab here you can see these are the two features in here and that's what you see down here so if I now go in and I click on add feature I can create a, the title that so this is going to be the third feature and then you add some commentary to it I don't know let me see if I can type something very fast or oh, maybe if I can copy and paste let's copy this and paste and then we paste that there and I click on publish if I reload this page you're gonna see the third feature at the top so that's this one so now we need to add this image so now um, let's see how we can add an image to the side of it so let me save this um, to my desktop what I will now do is um, I will upload that um, and the best thing is to do is to set the featured image so on the side here we have a set featured image um, uh, option so if I click on that then I can now upload images from my computer so that's it so now the first thing we need to do is um, we need to align the image either left or right so if I do if it, so the way we do that now is going to use align left in the caption so change the caption to align left and that's to align the image to the left and then I'm going to click, click use as featured image and I click save all changes so now if I reload this you can see that that's the third feature and it's aligned to the left if I was going to align to the right um, I would go in here to the gallery look for that image that's that one and I say align right as the caption that's the hack that you're going to use, need to do to help align your pictures all right so now let's reload that and now we see that it's going on the, going on the other and on the other side hmm there's a reason there's, there's a problem there let's see what we've done okay the problem was I actually came in here and I said insert into post okay so now let's take that out so now it's just try to insert that image into the post so what, what you will do is okay I've removed it so let's let's try that again I go to the gallery and I click um, align right here and then say use as featured image I don't 
click insert into pool just click save all changes and you're done so if I update that and I reload my features page yeah that's that's it um, so the last step is the contact right um, we have a contact form um, the best thing to do is, okay you can see that that doesn't work right so now you're gonna need to install a free plugin called contact form 7 so if I go in here and I go to install plugins you can click on add new at the top and then click on contact form 7 to search the WordPress plugin database and that's the one we want install that and then activate the plugin okay so then you can, it's gonna add a new tab here called contact right so if I click on contact and then it's gonna give you like a default contact form and then you see here um, the markup for your contact form so if you save this to add this contact form to that page we need to copy and paste this to our contact page right so if you comp copy that then go to pages into the contact page that, and then let's replace it with that and if I reload that page we're gonna see a contact form albeit doesn't look nice we need to format that so the, if you now go back to your to the downloads which you had you will see a contact form markup text file so now if you open that and copy the contents of that this is gonna give you the markup for your contact form so then, now we'll go back to the contact tab and then choose that first contact form and then in here we're going to paste that in here and then click on save and we reload that and you see we're good to go we have a nice nice looking contact form so we have our features page as well we also have the home page and I think we're almost done. So you know how to change this. You now know how to add new. Um, you also know how to add new pages in here, right? And then um, let me just quickly show you something else. So if you wanted to add a page, so for example, we had a sample page. If you wanted, to, depending on what you have on your sample page, you're gonna have to change your templates in here. So if you wanted that to be the home template. Right, and I click on update, it's gonna look like the home page, like that first page that we had. And that's this one. Of course, I'm um in a new in another video, I'm gonna show you how to add the sign up form at the at the bottom here. So just bear with me for a while. Um if you wanted to have that as your features page, then you select the features template, right? And what this is gonna do is well if you reload the page you will see that it's going to just basically load all the features that we had in that file and then we also have um, a typography template which you probably are not going to use for now so I think we're actually done and um, the only thing we are, that we'll, you need to do to make everything look nice is to change the permalinks now the links to all the pages have um, a question mark and then parameters you don't want that to happen so if you go click on change permalinks and then normally I always choose post name and then click on save changes and um, I think we're done so if I refresh this page now click on update so all my permalinks are now changed and now we have like nice pretty SEO type links all right so that's all for this video in the in I'm gonna show you one more video which is gonna sh show you how to create this sign up form here I'm going to remove that text too as well and if you have any questions just send me an email thank you bye bye